Okay, so um, I guess another thing to showcase would be the multimedia applications of uh, MIMO 5. And um, let's go ahead and start with the media player. Um, it's a pretty bare bones media player, nothing fancy about it. Um, the cool thing is it'll auto automatically pick up, pick up stuff that's networked. So this is the main PC and this is the laptop or if you, if you have your PS3 streaming stuff or whatever, or broadcasting stuff, it'll pick it up automatically, which is very cool. Um, but the media player itself, um, no frills. You know, it has all the albums, uh, all the songs listed, you know, album cover and art. Uh, you can, you know, sort it according to genre or artist or whatever. Uh, if we play a song here, for example. Lower this a little bit. As you can tell, the speakers are super loud. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, really nothing complicated here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Nah, it doesn't really make it any better. Uh, current playlist. Uh, save the playlist if you want to make uh, save what you got playing right now. And the FM transmitter looks just like all the other Nokia's. Uh, you know, turn it on and set whatever frequency you want, and um, it'll work just fine in your car radio. Uh, just like I showed off with the N79. Uh, there's nothing else to this. You know, you have shuffle, you have repeat, and that's it. Uh, there's no equalizer. We can keep the song running in the background. For example, and wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you'll have this little thing icon here in the, in the corner. Uh, if I close this, then it shuts down the media player. So that is uh, what it is by itself. Um, you know, uh, so let me go ahead and play that. I mean, you can always go ahead and back out of it. Uh, you know, you want to access it again quickly. Uh, so, you know, there's nothing complicated with this. Uh, video clips, you know, play the same way. Nothing big deal. Um, you know, no, frill, no frills of browser once again. I have to say one thing, though. The video playback on here is amazingly sharp, amazingly crisp. Um, it really looks good. Uh, you know, I know iPhone or iPod Touch as well. It's, you know... You know, we we have a ratio of sixteen to nine or whatever, and we're you know, ideal, you know, thing for your eyes and this and that. No, you this is this is sharp. This makes use of the eight hundred by four eighty. Um, you know, and and I think this is something to be expected nowadays. You know, Droid having this as well. It's really really clean, really nice, really bright, and for something that is not an uh, OLED screen or AMOLED OLED screen, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, you can't minimize this, or I haven't figured out a way to minimize this. Uh, so I don't know if there's a way to sort of, let me see if this works. Yeah, there's no sort of way to get out of the video screen. Although it will pause and play uh, where you left it off. For example, let's say I don't do that. Yeah, still got the... It picks up where you left off, so uh, no problems there. It just there's no way to minimize that and have it playing. Uh, video from the camera, um, pretty decent. Um, the cool, uh, you know, it's it's standard. You know, nothing nothing complicated. Just like your N seventy nine and ninety seven. It's a five megapixel camera. The autofocus. Uh, the cool thing is, with a video camera, the autofocus will focus on the first frame. So after that, you, know, you can you can autofocus on something far away or something close, and uh, it'll stay with that focus the whole video through, instead of having fixed focus wherever uh, the camera standard is. Also, I don't know if you noticed on on that cat, it was kind of red, reddish at the end. The camera does give off uh, 
a red light when you're uh, running the video cam. I don't know why. Some people said it's a European law that you, you know, so you can't really spy on people. Um, I did not notice that with my N79, for example, and that was that was UK model. It flashed the red light initially, and I think it stopped. Uh, you know, when you were recording it, I don't I don't remember exactly. Um, but that's something to watch out for. Uh, I'll get back to the uh, camera in a second as far as pictures goes. And the other thing they have, of course, is internet radio. Um, it is straight up what it is. Um, there, you know, when you go here, there's a huge list of, of stations listed by country, you know, uh, USA, Russia, uh, Netherlands, you know, whatever, Italy, uh, Great Britain. Um, and you can pick one of these, or you can go there and you can uh, add a radio station bookmark you know if you have a web address alternatively if you go to di.fm for example uh, you you go through uh, I mean, in fact let me go ahead and go through di.fm for you you go there and you, you pick their uh, one of their settings it'll play automatically via the uh, media player uh, the one thing I don't like is the internet uh, radio in, for example, Symbian phones was a little more extensive in what they had. Uh, when, when you went up to the main screen, it came up with options such as, uh, you know, sort by country, uh, you know, genre, whatever. You know, there's a top ten list of what they had compiled. Uh, let's say vocal trance. Did I press it? I don't know. No, oh, there you go. I didn't press it actually on it. MP3 streams. And it's still loading too. And then... Uh, that. And it'll pop up the uh, media player. Uh, but as I said, the Symbian format was a lot more extensive and a lot nicer. And it had a lot more radio stations around the world. I mean... It had freaking 30 Polish stations, for example. Uh, this has none. So, uh, you know, I, I do hope they port that over, otherwise, you know, the interface is the same. Um, what else is there? Let me go close that. 